Whether you've got a growing family, upgrading to your dream home, or simply making a smart investment move, trading up can be a strategic decision with significant benefits. I'm Lauren, this is Raul, we are with The Shader Group, and today we are chatting about the decision to buy a new home when you currently own a home. What needs to be considered? <laughs> well, I think at the end of the day, we got to look at what's driving our focus, right? Why would we want to quote unquote level up or trade up? Uh, I think we once we decide what we want to do, we want to look at the market conditions and ensure that everything's going right. See what's happening in your neighborhood, right? So I th- mm-hmm. also we want to look at the interest rates to see if it's a good mathematical equation, right? Because I think a lot of times what we do as real estate agents is we sit down and go over this game plan. Maybe it's like, hey, if we eliminate all your credit card debt and your you know cars or all this other stuff right. then you have all this extra money that you're not paying huge interest on so it really just depends and then you know our monthly lives like is it going to change our life or is it going to make our life better are we going to you know gain equity in the next few years or not what would be some common mistakes to avoid yeah so i think a lot of people especially in a market like we are right now i think buyers are in the upper hand because they have choices right mm-hmm. and whenever a buyer has choices they're able to say we want it to be perfect right because if we're comparing a pre-existing home to a new home they got interest rate reductions they got incentives well we don't want to necessarily give all that away so i think the small minor improvements to the house are very very big you know sometimes painting the wall painting the baseboards the littlest things make a big big difference mm-hmm. and, and those are some of the common ones I would say, uh, but also not overextending yourself. I think a lot of people, when they think of, oh, my house is dated, I want to do everything. I want to get new cabinets. I want to get new floors. I want to build a gazebo. And that, is that really all necessary? <laughs> no. Probably not. But I think that there are some things, like I said, the baseboards are always that thing. Everyone wants to look at doors and see how cl- clean it is, right? What's the deferred maintenance look like? Can, can we run around and do some caulking around the house or whatnot? But before we jump into all that, we want to make sure we're pre-approved. We want right. to make sure that we can actually afford to do this and, and make sure it makes sense for our families. Walk us through the process of selling a home while purchasing a new one. Yeah, so there's a lot of steps that go into play. First and foremost, you got to get the agent out there so we can actually figure out what our limitations are. Mm-hmm. And what I mean by that is we want to look at the comparable market analysis and see exactly what are the days on market, what what are the original list price to sales price ratios, because that'll at least level us into the point of knowing how much can we sell, and if we sold for this, how much would we make to roll over to the new home. Once we figure out that math, uh, we have two options. Number one, we could go under contract as a contingent home, Mm -hmm. which means we have to sell before we buy, or we get on the market, then find a contract once we go under contract. That way it kind of relieves the stress to a certain degree. But we got to know what our subject property is. Once we know what the end goal is, we can work backwards and try to figure that out. Uh, But ultimately, I think the math is what's really important on that because then I could guide you through the listing, how it looks, how to, you know, parlay the two together to where there's a little overlap, maybe do a lease back in case we sell the house. Maybe we get a lease back for like two weeks, then seamlessly move into the other home. It just really depends on the factors. Are we going pre-existing versus new? Yes. So many options, but you need an agent (laughs) or a professional to help, right? So why would you say the Schrader Group is best equipped to help on homeowners. I mean, experience matters. And we have a full service team from start to finish that's going to be here guiding you throughout the process. We employ 24 people on our team that all fight for our clients, right? So it's not just one person representing. It's not just someone on EXP representing. It's a full team. It's like we are still brick and mortar. Uh, Feel free to come by anytime and see what our operations look like. But you have a team focused on you guys. And we've helped 10,000 families over the years. So it's not just a one and done. We've been here. We have a great reputation in Mm -hmm. town. And I think at the end of the day, if I get on a call and say, hey, this is going to happen, the other side, the the seller side knows, hey, more than likely this is going to work out. And if not, we're going to guide our clients to the best way to make it happen. Trading up a new home can be an exciting opportunity to upgrade your lifestyle and enhance your long-term financial prospects. Please reach out if you have any questions. We'd love to help. Absolutely. Our business model is based on helping families create and leave legacies. We're here to help you guys. Thank you all. Have a blessed day. We'll talk to you all soon.